to all my Ecom learners, a pleasant day. Today's video lesson will serve as an introduction to how you may start writing your statement of the problem or also known as your research SOP. Let's not waste time and let's get the ball rolling. Watch this. <music> To start with, look at this image. I used that image symbol because humans have a lot of questions in mind every day. And since we love asking questions, why not turn it into something valuable? Yung tipong we ask questions because we want to solve a problem existing right in front of us. That is where research comes in. Questions are our roadmap. Hindi ka maliligaw kapag tama ang mga tanong na mayroon ka. Questions give us a vivid pathway towards our purpose. Just like what you see in that image. The question mark at the beginning symbolized our starting point, which is clearly leading us to the identification of the problem through asking questions. Before you reach the end part, you will need to walk through the process. The heart and the trophy show us that as you move on in your research study, you are finding your way to achieving your goal, which is illustrated by the star at the end part of the map. Therefore, asking questions when we conduct research are significant, for they lead us to what we really want to achieve. Now that you understood the importance of questions in research, it pays to know as well where we put these questions. The questions you desire to answer as you conduct a research is placed in your SOP. What is SOP? It means statement of the problem. It is composed of two elements, other words statement and problem. Statement simply means group of words or sentence, while problem means research problem which refers to research gap you intend to address. And when we say research gap, it is an issue or concern that has not yet been given a specific solution or an effective solution by any of the previous studies or research conducted before, which only means that your SOP contains statements explaining your identified problem, which shows the research gap, why it is relevant, why there is a need to study about it, what is your aim, how you will address the problem, and how you will attain your aim of solving it. Consequently, the highlight of your SOP is the research gap. Halimbawa, voter registration. Hindi tayo ngayon lang nag-conduct ng registrations since we held elections many times already. Pero bakit palagi pa din? May mga problemang kinakaharap ang mga nagpaparegister in terms of the process. That is then research may come in. So, meron ka na ngayong naisip na problemang dapat hanapan ng solusyon. Pretending na nakapagbasa ka ng maraming articles and research about it, pero wala kang nakitang malinaw na naging solusyon para dito. With that, you became interested to hold a study about it. So, ang ibig sabihin, you have identified a research gap. Let's say, there may be a lot of studies conducted that resulted and concluded that the use of the technology will solve the problem with voters' registration. But very rare talked about the human resource who would focus and really effectively assist the registrants. That then is what we call the research gap. 
kaunti ang nag-focus na pag-aralan ang significant roles ng human resource as part of the process. You were able to determine that there were few people to assist thousands of registrants. At yun naman ngayon ang magiging target ng research mo, as you would state in your SOP. Another example, there have been a lot of research and studies held about the importance of providing opportunities to students to apply what they have learned from discussions and lectures. So teachers provide a bunch of activities and set of tasks in most of the subjects every day. Ang tanong, namamanage ba ng mga students ang oras nila ng tama para sa sabay-sabay na requirements? Hanggang sa umabot na sila ng hating gabi sa paggawa sa mga ito? That's then, let's say, as a researcher, you realized that enough sleep is important for students to perform in the class well. So ano ang research gap? The research gap is, there is little to no studies target to look into the effects of sleep deprivation to the learning of students. With that, ang ibig sabihin, you could come up with your research about sleep deprivation's impact to the student's learning or learning behavior. And these are how you may start crafting your statement of the problem or SOP. Number one, think of a topic like voters registration process and complying with subject requirements as to the examples I have explained earlier. Number two, read about that topic through internet, books, journals, or other research. Number three, identify the research gap in that topic. In the examples, we have the roles of the human resource and the sleep deprivation as the research gaps. Number four, determine the problem you want to address based on the research gap. Example are the important role of human resource in the voters' registration process and the effects of sleep deprivation in students' learning or learning behavior. Number five, write the questions you seek to answer in order to solve the research problem. I will discuss this one in the next video lesson. That's it for today, my Ecom learners. I hope you learn from today's video lesson. Have a great day ahead and always wear a happy heart.